Tech Team is seriously in the clamp business. We make three different sizes of compression clamps. We make three different sizes of constant tension spring clamps. And we make one size of stainless steel gear style clamp. First thing you want to do is take a look at our spring clamp. It has a rust and corrosion resistant zinc plated finish and it's made from steel that's been tempered or heat treated and this gives it spring qualities. You can see here when I use this uh, pair of pliers to work it how the spring when workable constant tension clamps are an excellent choice. The constant tension feature allows the clamp to maintain tension even though temperature changes cause the diameter of the tubing to change. The result is constant clamping pressure and a good seal. When it comes to buying your clamps you want to pay attention to the outside diameter of the tubing. This happens to be typical quarter inch ID, that's the diameter of the hole in the inside fuel line. And as you can see it's, it's roughly 12 millimeters outside diameter. What that means is that we want to get a clamp that's slightly smaller than that outside diameter. Now we know the outside diameter of that tube is uh, roughly 12 millimeters and here we have our 11 to 13 millimeter clamp which is going to be you're not going to be able to fit it on there but at this point that's not important because we can easily expand the clamp. By squeezing the clamp we increase the inside diameter of the clamp and now it fits easily over this 12 millimeter tubing and when we release the pressure on the pliers, the clamp applies pressure and seals the connection. To remove the clamp, we just reverse the process, squeeze the ears together, and the clamp slides right off. One point we'd like to make is that the size of each clamp is printed right here on the ear. And you can see this particular one is 15 millimeters. Now we move on to our compression clamp. And this clamp requires a slotted screwdriver to loosen and tighten. Like the spring clamp, this also has a fixed range of adjustment. And just like the spring clamp, this is the reason it's critically important to measure the application, which means the outside diameter of the tubing so that you get the correct size clamp. For example, this particular clamp is our number 887. And this has a range of 14 to 16 millimeters. For example, this clamp would not be the correct clamp to use on this 12 millimeter OD fuel line. And you see there's got a lot of extra slop in there and there's no way we could tighten it down enough to take up the difference. What that means for this application is, is that we take our number 885 11 to 13 millimeter clamp and you'll see here it just fits. Just a little bit snug but it fits and it moves around. Once we have it in place we can easily tighten it with our screwdriver. Just a few turns and the clamp will do its job. This is an excellent clamp. If you look inside you'll see it has a, a reinforcing curved piece in there and what that does is it, uh, it protects the tubing. The tube gets exactly the same pressure all the way around and there are no parts of this clamp that's going to dig into the tubing. Now we come to uh, Tech Team's number 891 stainless steel gear clamp. If those other clamps are so good you might wonder why somebody would use a gear clamp like this. Well, there are many reasons. First, it's made from stainless steel, so it'll provide a long service life. But going beyond that, it has a wide range of adjustment. This clamp can adjust from as small as 6 millimeters up to 16 millimeters. That means if you're unsure of the size of your tubing or you have multiple sizes of tubing, this clamp is still going to get the job done for you. These clamps require either a slot or a Phillips screwdriver to open and close them. Unlike the mini clamp and the spring clamp, this clamp can be opened all the way. The mini clamp and the spring clamp must be put over the end of the tubing. This means you have to put it on before you fit the tubing to the fitting. With the gear clamp, since you can open it up, everything will be all put together and then you can add the clamp later because it opens up and goes around the tubing and then it's just a matter of tightening it and you're good to go. Here we have a fuel pump which is a one typical application for a uh, fuel hose. And here we have a carburetor, which of course is another application for a fuel line. What you will notice on both of these items is that the fitting or the nipple that the fuel line goes over has a ridge around it right near the end. 
Here we put our fuel line over that nipple. And you can see right here, there's a bulge. And that's right where that uh, ridge is that goes around the end of the nipple. Now what we want to do when we put our clamp on is we want to move it so it's just beyond the ridge. And release the tension in this case. And now we have a good tight mechanical seal. And it's going to be very difficult, if not impossible, for this hose to pop off.